Hey guys. Maybe it's doing better now. Is it better now? Hi from Winnipeg. Oh, sweet. I know where that is. Hello, guys. Um, bonjour. Ah, oh, I miss going to France. I have to get out there soon. After the baby. Hello from Bulgaria. <laughs> oh yeah, I did spend time in Bulgaria. Colorado. Yeah, been there too. Shot something there. Anaheim Hills. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions for me? About like business or work or life or family French from Quebec <laughs> I have been to Dallas yes I have how far along am I more than halfway through Mexico hi Ooh, something just broke Should I investigate? Let me go see. What happened? Oh, okay. It's always scary when you hear something break. You just hope no one gets hurt. <sighs> How did I start my business? Oh, God. Um... I had the idea to start my business, like, um, I had the idea to start my business three years before I actually started it, and I had to find the right business partners. It was really hard because a lot of people just know sort of like more traditional ways to start businesses, like opening your own store if you have products or um, you know going right into a retail partner like a Target or something but people don't even know how to do that um, so that was kind of the first step is finding the right business partner that knew how to do what I wanted to do I wanted to start a business online and now you know there's so many ways you can start a company just by creating an app um, and kind of going from there and that can sort of be a way that people can experience your brand whatever kind of brand you're building um, which is great because it's just you can do it in really inexpensive these days um, so the first thing is starting with the right business partner and then how do you how do you do it successfully you just pray <laughs> that it works I, I don't know if there's a secret sauce I think you just have to push through challenges and always try and find creative ways to make it happen like no matter what because there's always going to be um, I guess things and and people and issues that are going to come up you have to push through when was the time you realized that you wanted to be an actress I probably wanted <clears throat> God since I can remember even when I was a little like a little girl. Um, I was sick a lot as a kid. I spent a lot of time in the hospital. So I think my biggest reason in wanting to be an actress is I wanted to be somebody else. <laughs> I wanted to be someone who was healthy and someone who had superpowers. I always wanted to be a superhero. And so it was kind of the closest way that it could happen is by pretending to be one. Thanks, Brian. Any other questions? Thanks, Frederick. Do I have a girl or a boy? I have two girls, um, Honor and Haven. 
and I have another one on the way. But I don't know if I haven't announced if it was a, if it's a boy or a girl yet. My secret to beautiful skin. I think it really first starts with trying to get sleep. I know it's crazy, but something that simple. Um, drinking a lot of water, and if I don't know if you. Um, like coconut water but coconut water like really hydrates the skin so basically just not looking like dried out and then for people who get more like acne or that kind of thing um finding a great retinol um so we make one at honest we just came out with it it's a natural one but retinol literally changed my life um it's amazing it's kind of the only thing that I feel like really transformed my skin. I can't take it while I'm pregnant or breastfeeding, but it is the most incredible um, product I think out there. And um, we have like the way that I built this skincare line at Honest is I really wanted to take products that really work, but make them in a more natural way. So. Um, if you go to honestbeauty.com, you can see all of our beauty products, but I've been using our skincare since I've developed it, like two and a half years. Nail polish color, um, I like nudes. I've really been into nudes. I think it's because, I don't know, my hands are sort of feeling a little bit dry and puffy <laughs> these days. I feel like nudes sort of helps make them look longer. The illusion. Um, why am I wearing glasses? Because I have a hard time seeing far away. <laughs> um, I used to wear them in school actually because they helped me see the chalkboard but um, now when I'm in meetings um, I have a hard time seeing the screen when we're um, putting up presentations and whatnot so it helps me for distance. Yeah, and I wasn't wearing them, and I was getting these massive headaches just straining my eyes, so that's why I wear them. They're really nerdy. I'm not, like, much of a glasses person, but contacts are even worse for me, so, you know, I've been wearing them. They're hard to get used to. Yeah, short side. Yes, I'm a nerd. It's fine. What do I think about Avengers? I didn't see it. Um, although I'm going to go to the uh, movies this weekend. I want to see it. I'm really excited about it. I grew up with it. Did you, are you guys scared of clowns? I am. So why not add to having more nightmares about clowns. <laughs> I've been having really crazy dreams since I've been pregnant. So, you know, when you do these Facebook Lives, you really get to see how flat your hair is. You know, I'm Latina, so I like giant, big giant hair. <laughs> what prenatal, prenatal vitamins do I take? I take Honest. We actually make this um, Whole Foods prenatal and we do a subscription so it comes every month and it's exactly your 30 days worth so you take, I, I like to take the Whole Foods prenatal and the DHA and the DHA does not taste at all like fish which is amazing because good luck for trying to find a good one that doesn't, um, you know, give you those weird fish burps. Ours doesn't. And I take my prenatal at night. Um, I mean, you're up paying all night anyway, so um, yeah, I like to take it at night, like right before dinner, and I find that that's kind of the best, um, or my favorite way to take it. Uh-oh. I think someone left their phone in my... Save the planet. I wish I could. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, this planet is going to burn up and kick us out of here after all the bad stuff we've been doing to it. I look so different. Thanks. 
not sure how to take that. Probably an insult. Thank you. Am I going to bring Honest to France? I'd like to. I think our first international expansion will probably be... Um, I have something on my teeth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was a sandwich I had earlier. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Um, so we we probably will go into an English speaking country because it's a little bit easier initially. Um, so maybe you know certainly Canada and then maybe um, the UK, and then we'll we'll expand outside of that. Um, just because it's easier from labeling on uh, the packaging. But I love France. I mean, it's like my mother-in-law lives there. It's it's one of my favorite countries. I love all of Europe. I do need to visit India. I haven't been there yet. And I was going to try and go to Ireland this spring in March, but I heard um, it's really cold and rainy. So I... I was told that I should go when it's not as cold and rainy. Because I'm going to bring the kids and everything. Um, am I going to franchise Honest? I haven't been approached by folks to take it on as a franchise yet, but I'm always open to hearing other people's ideas. Do I find it challenging with my husband and business and kids? <sighs> Gosh. Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm used to being busy and I always, I've been working since I was 12. So I would probably go stir crazy if I didn't have a bunch of different things to do. I think I do better when I'm sort of pulled in many different directions than if I'm just sort of stagnant. Um, but I do, and you know, I do feel like it's it's about kind of prioritizing your time and and investing in the quality of time. So I don't have you know forty eight hours in a day; I only have twenty four, and you know, hopefully, a big chunk of that is sleeping. <laughs> um, so when I am with my kids, I try to not bring home work and. When I'm at work, I try to be as present as possible. Although right now I'm doing a Facebook or Instagram live. <laughs> um, it is during my lunch break. Um, favorite project I've worked on, as, like from a movie perspective um, or TV show, I would say... I don't know. I mean, I've liked different things for different reasons. I really enjoyed Honey because I liked, I got to learn how to dance and I always wanted to, to be a dancer. And then I really liked Dark Angel because I, it was cool, you know, playing someone who was such a badass and, and I was so young. And, um, and she was so unapologetic about just being really tough. And that was pretty cool, you know. For an 18 year old and then I got to learn how to you know ride motorcycles and do stunts and do all that stuff um, and Fantastic Four was cool because I got to see the world and it touched so many kids and and it, it you know the special effects were a bit you know they weren't the best back then but you know people really liked the story and kids really looked up to having a female role model that was you know, she like kept it together and, and she was strong and so I think that was good at the time. And then Sin City, of course. Um, so. What else? <laughs> you should name your kid Honey, that's funny. Um, Howdy from Texas. How do I find my drive to my drive to continue through failures? I guess my whole life has been failures, um, one after the other. So I guess I'm just not afraid to fail. I think that's the key. And I probably would kick myself more for not even trying. Um, 
you know, when you're an actor, you're ninety nine percent of the job is being rejected for not looking a certain way, or you know, the director just wasn't feeling it, or the producer, you know, had another person in mind because his friend's daughter, you know, uh, would have they just wanted her for the role and you know there's nothing you can really do about it or the agent has a relationship with the studio exec like it's all so arbitrary why anybody gets a job um so i think i'm just used to getting rejected and sort of pushing through pregnancy cravings gosh um you know it's i don't normally eat it Ton during the day I'm sort of like on the go and I sort of eat on the go and snack here and there and um, when I'm pregnant I get very hungry and like I crave a certain thing at that very time and I have to have it right then so um, that has that's something that's weird that isn't my norm um, I'm always craving fruit, but I like salty things too. I mean, nothing's off limits really. <clears throat> Did you tired and work backstage? I don't know what that means. If I could remarry another actor, I would never marry an actor. <laughs> They're so annoying. <laughs> no. Uh, they're pretty annoying. I, I, um, I don't know. I'm unlike, I don't know if my personality fits well with an actor. They're a bit, um, I don't know, kind of emotional and all over the place <laughs> and, and unpredictable. And I don't really need that. I like someone who's like, I don't know, kind of more secure and doesn't have to be in like the rat race of rejection. It really kind of hurts. Um, and, and, it, and it develops a weird personality trait that you just have to have as an actor. I love actors like as friends, but I would never marry one. If I, don't, I, I mean, I wouldn't never say never, but like there's a reason why I didn't marry an actor. <laughs> Um, what else? Any other questions? Who's my celeb crush, man or woman? That's a tough one. I have a lot. My assistant's calling me. I have a meeting. I'm late for my meeting. Oh, shoot. I'm really late for my meeting. Okay, I gotta go. Bye, guys.